Hey Trail Riders, welcome back to the Navy Ride. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be talking about under the surface. Our scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year are Joel 1 1 through chapter 2, verse 32, Psalm 142, 1 through 7, Proverbs 30, verses 18 through 20, and Revelation 6, 1 through 17. Today's focal scripture is going to come from Joel chapter 2, verse 28. We're going to be talking about under the surface. And Joel here says, I will pour out my spirit on all of humanity. What are some evidences of the spirit-filled life? How do we know that we're fully indwelt by the divine parcelate? I'm not going to begin where you might expect, even in the area of spiritual gifts, but in the realm, I believe, of equally important yet seldom mentioned. I refer to the area of the, sub <coughs> the subconscious. The longer I live, the more I feel the church has missed its way here. We have talked much about the works of the Spirit on the conscious level and little about the work of the subconscious level. We have failed to see, generally speaking, that part of the work of the Holy Spirit in the life of the Christian is to project His power and presence into the depths of the personality and into even the subconscious. We are told that about one-tenth of the mind is conscious and the other nine-tenths are subconscious. Like the, the iceberg, which is nine-tenths submerged, life is largely lived in the submerged part of our being. Now, if this is so, then it becomes evident that once that we are submerged if the nine-tenths are not working with the conscious purposes of the one-tenth, then it's going to be a serious division there. And a division is this serious brings divisive. Whatever controls the nine-tenths greatly influences the one-tenth. The Holy Spirit wants to project Himself into that submerged part of our being in order to harness those untamed forces that make us and make make them work for us and not against us the then the subconscious is no longer an enemy but a friend let's go to the lord in prayer our heavenly father we are so grateful that you have provided for us and provided for our deepest need the need for unifying and controlling the depths within me. My heart tingles at the thought that I can be unified on the inside. Thank you, Father. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey guys, for further study on this subject, look at Joel 2, 18 through 32, Romans 12, 2, 1 Corinthians 14, 3, 2 Timothy 1, 7, and Matthew 12, 25, and keep these two questions in mind. What did Joel prophesy? And what is the difference between dreams and visions? God bless you guys. I hope you'll continue to follow me here on the Daily Ride, and hope to see you on the next trail ride.